Hey, what's going on there guys? Nick here from Absolute MTG and I'm back with another unboxing video for you guys. So today I have another Fantasy Crate opening. So uh, if you guys don't know what Fantasy Crate is, it's a subscription service where you guys pay a monthly fee and every month they send you a package filled with Magic the Gathering related stuff. So we actually have two of them here. Not sure which one's which, but uh, they usually have two different like packages that you can order. One that's more centered around drafting and booster packs and another one which I would assume is this one uh, that is more geared around just accessories and cool stuff. So uh, let's open this on up. I'm fairly certain just based on the shape of this that I know exactly what it is at least one of the contents of this because it seems to be a, it seems to be a binder but we'll see so we'll see just what all we get inside of here all right and it is binder so anything else on the inside of here nope what all do we have so within this binder we also have some boosters so we have the Ultra Pro Origins 3 ring binder, which MSRP is at $24.99 and they pay roughly $10 for. And the Magic Packs that MSRP at $16 and they pay, well, again, roughly $10 for them. So we do have the, uh, the Packs of Origins here and the 3 ring binder, which I actually don't remember how much we sell this at the shop. For those of you guys that don't know, I actually work at a card shop. Not entirely sure how much we sell these for. Uh, really don't remember, but these are cool nonetheless. Uh, I prefer like binders that actually have uh, the pages like actually built in and uh, made into them like uh, monster binders, ultra pro binders and whatnot. Uh, but these are cool nonetheless. Actually, uh, I, I don't hate them, but I prefer other ones. Uh, either way, I mean, Fantasy Crate sends me this stuff for free, so I can't really complain about it. We'll probably end up giving this away. I have um, like literally a million binders. Uh, and then we have this other package, which is quite rattly, so let's see just what we have inside of here. Alright, so it looks like we have some more booster packs, and we have a deck box of some sort, and get the rest of that out of the way. Alright, so we have boosters, we have one, two, three, four, five, six packs of Origins, unless there's more hidden in there. We have a deck box with Liliana on the front. That's pretty cool. Very sweet. What else do we have in here? We have the packing slip. We have a set of dice, which these are really awesome. Chessex dice. Uh, so just blue and white ones. So 36 opaque pipped dice. Pipped D6s. That's cool. These are actually uh, usually really necessary. I'll give these away as well. I have a bunch of dice. And uh, 2D D20s. So not the uh, the spin down ones, just randomized ones. So yeah, we'll give away uh, we'll give away these. I'll open up the packs. We'll give away the box too. I, I have a bunch of deck boxes. So uh, we'll do a giveaway. I'll talk about the giveaway in uh, in a little bit here. And what does it say on the on the slip? So uh, Chessex dice set, MSRP 750, they pay 450. Uh, the two D20s, MSRP two bucks, they pay a buck roughly for them. Uh, the Ultra Pro deck box 499, they pay two, and uh, the Magic Packs 24, they pay 13. Okay, I feel that. We'll get this out of the way. We'll put the dice over here, and we'll crack open some packs. So I'll crack the packs. We'll see what pools we get. And then I'll do the uh, the giveaway of the things. All right, so first pack here. What do we have? So we have Enshrouding Mist, Eye Blades Assassin, Majoring Bully, Grass with the Hiremancer, Timber Pack, Wolf, Bone to Ash, Leaf Glider, Guardian of or Guardians of Maletis, Fiery Impulse, Return Centaur, Majoring Network. Uh, Necromatic Summons, Blightcaster, and we have Goblin Pile Driver as our rare. So one, two for two, protection from blue. Whenever it attacks, gets plus two plus zero oh, until the end of the turn for each other attacking goblin. And a we have a token for Nissa, the four four legendary, and we have a mark card for the Planeswalkers. So that is actually awesome. We'll put those over there, and then the rest of the cards over here. 
we have Healing Hands to start it off. So Healing Hands, Dead Bridge Shaman, Artifacer's Epiphany, uh, Timber Pack Wolf, Shambling Ghoul, uh, Separatist Void Mage, uh, Vine Snare, Heavy Infantry, Frickle Boar, Reeve Soul, Sendikar Incarnate, Conclave Naturalists, Turn to Frog, we have Mizium Meddler as our rare, 1-4 for 3, Flash, enters the battlefield, you can change a target of target speller ability to the Meddler. There are planes and a insert. So Meddler, not the most impressive card, however, he's still pretty cool. EDH worthy, if anything. Uh, another Majoring Bully, Grasp of the Hiromancer, Titanic Growth, Send to Sleep, Titanic Titan Strength, Read the Bones, Calculated Dismissal, Land of War Empath, Enlightened Ascetic, uh, Fire Fiend Elemental, uh, Jiraga Invocation, Goblin Glory Chaser, Iblight Massacre, and we have Ember Maw Hellion. So, 4 5, 4 5, Trample. Uh, whenever another red source you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals damage, damage plus one to that permanent or player instead. Planes and other insert. Huh, Ember Maw. What cool stuff can we do with you, bud? I don't think, uh, I don't know. That card doesn't seem that impressive. In limited, it's insane though. Uh, Volcanic Rambler, Mighty Leap, Infernal Scarring, Majoring Bully, Caustic Caterpillar, Aspiring Aeronauts, Pelos Lizard, Stalwart Aven, Return Centaur, uh, Ring Warden Owl, Scab Goliath, Naru Trapper, Thopter Engineer, and we have Case of Quilos. So it's happening for White or Black to our mana pool that deals one damage to us. And a Mountain and a Thopter. really disappointing that uh, we got the pain lands back again um, for this core set just because I would, I don't know, uh, for some reason I'm super greedy and wanted the filter lands back, but uh, that's definitely not going to happen. But uh, the, the pain lands were just kind of disappointing because we already had them and now they're just super, super dirt cheap. Like they're a buck to two bucks at most a piece. Uh, we have a tutelage. Tutelage is awesome. Conclave Naturalists. War Oracle, and Animist's Awakening. I actually really like this card, especially for like uh, having some fun with EDH. Sorcery, X and one green, reveal the top uh, X cards of your library, put all lands from among them onto the battlefield tapped, and the rest onto the bottom of your library in a random order. Uh, spell Mastery, if there are two more instances and or sorcery cards in your graveyard, untap those lands. Uh, planes, and uh, insert. So we'll actually pull out the Sphinx's Tutelage, because that is awesome. I think Stoodleage is also a couple bucks too. I think it's like two bucks. And I can't imagine that that card's not going to see play until it's uh, finally out of standard. Uh, so we have Demolish, Charmancer, White of the Underworld, Infectious Bloodlust, Caustic Caterpillar, Aspiring Aeronaut, Tip and Freed Blade, Claustrophobia, Guardians of Miletis, a Fiery Impulse, Acolyte of the Inferno, Zendikar's Royal, Sigiled Starfish, and we have Harbinger of the Tides. These two for double blue. You can cast it as though it had flash if you pay two more to cast it. And whenever it enters the battlefield, you can return a target tapped creature and opponent controls to its owner's hands. Swamp and the Thopter. Harbinger was uh, another one that got a huge amount of hype whenever the set first initially came out. And then just kind of over time, it just kind of died down. The card's really cool. Um, for constructed play, however, it's not really uh, seeing a huge amount of uh, performance nowadays. Uh, Celestial Flare, Dark Dabbling, Infectious Bloodlust, Encrone Jailer, Timber Pack Wolf, Bone to Ash, Night of the Pilgrim's Road, Unholy Hunger, Deep Sea Terror, Wild Instincts, Magmatic Insights, Conclave Naturalists, Tower Geist, and we have Almart's Archive. So. Five cost legendary artifact, mythic, although not one of the more chase mythics out of the set. Uh, if you would gain life, you gain twice that much life instead. If you draw a card except the first one that you draw in each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. A forest. It's a mythic nonetheless, but it's not one to uh, get super excited over, I, I would say. 
Now, if it was one of the Planeswalkers, that would be something to get excited about. Uh, Touch of Moonglove, uh, Active Trees and Mighty Leap, Water Courser, Aerial Volley, Rabbit Bloodsucker, Separatist Void Mage, Reclaim. We have Suppression Bonds, a Veteran Sidearm, Majoring Network, Consecrated by Blood, uh, Jessian Thief, and we have Honored Hierarch as our rare. So 1 1 for 1 green, Renowned 1. As long as it's Renowned, it has Vigilance and Tap, add 1 mana of any color to your mana pool. And Islands, and another insert. Two more packs. I'll kind of quickly go through these ones, these last two. I'm impatient. It's super interesting how uh, how uncommon, like how actually uncommon it is to see Sphinx's Tutelages. And like Chief of the Foundry, I don't see those as often either. Uh, Rogue's Passage, and another Harbinger of the Tides. I'll actually pull out the Chief as well. It's another awesome card. And last pack. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Good stuff. Come on, good stuff. Elemental Bond, the Chromatic Summons, Anchor to the Aether, and we have Liliana. Alright, there we go. That's one of the mythics we want. Liliana, heretical hero, healer. 2-3 uh, three for 3, a lifelink. Whenever a non, another non-token creature you control dies, exile her, then return to the battlefield transformed under your uh, under its owner's control. If you do, put a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. And we also have a uh, mark card to go alongside it. And on the other flip side, uh, plus 2, each player discards a card. Minus X, return target non-legendary creature card with CMC X from your graveyard to the battlefield. And minus eight, you get an emblem with whenever a creature dies, return it to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. Very, very cool. Very awesome to get a uh, Planeswalker just to uh, to wrap things up here. And an Elf Warrior. These Elf Warriors are pretty cool as well. But uh, really, really sweet pack opening. What a really, really cool stuff. Definitely can't complain about it. So yeah, now that we have these packs open and whatnot, now time to talk about the uh, the giveaway. How this is actually going to work. So uh, how you guys can enter into the giveaway uh, is like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and leave a comment down in the comments below saying what you're excited about Battle for Zendikar. Uh, it doesn't have to be super long, just don't make it like a one word answer. Uh, yeah, what you're excited about for Battle for Zendikar will give away the, the binder, the deck box, and the, uh, the dice, the, uh, the two D20s and the set of, uh, D6s, the 36 D6s. So we'll give away all of that in a giveaway here. Um, and yeah, just one comment, only comment once, that way I can actually use a program to find a one winner that only commented once and, uh, randomly select from you guys. But yeah, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down in the comments below saying what your favorite thing or thing that you're looking forward to in Battle for Zendikar is, or if there is nothing yet, something that you hope will be in Battle for Zendikar. Uh, we already know that we won't have the fetch land, so that's already disappointing, but don't worry about it, something else. So thank you guys for watching, and until next time, peace out.